you too. To err is only human, forgiven is divine. Please forgive me, baby. Make your eyes shine. Don't leave me all alone in this cold, lonely world. Well, I could never face it without the love of a girl. Please forgive and forget. Take a good look inside. Can you live with yourself behind all your pride? Take me back, take me back, oh, I'm begging for you. Oh, I know that you would if you only would do a little soul searching. Yeah, just a little soul searching. Oh, just do soul searching. Feels a little soul. Oh, 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 oh. You cheated. You cheated. Are so bittersweet Baby, please spare me The taste of defeat Well, I was such a strong love Don't let it die I promise I won't cheat you I promise I won't lie
for everybody. Dabra is a, a man dressed as a dog. Whispering white. I like to connect the dots. We're, We're taking, taking off the moon. moon. As 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 Let's go. go. This is Lucia Pamela. We hope you have enjoyed your stay on the moon. In our quest for home recordings and other precious audio keepsakes of this century, you have told us about hundreds of sounds and voices from the past, those that, if they had not been recorded, would exist only in memory. For today's broadcast, what we have is the sound of memory itself, recorded on a 45-minute audio cassette and sent to us by David Greenberger of Greenwich, New York. Okay. Chicago, Chicago, that darling, down that darling, down Chicago, Chicago, I'll show you around, I'll show you around, oh, I love the old basic. On the afternoon of Monday, June 15th, 1981, on the back porch of the duplex nursing home in Boston, one man held a small tape recorder while another man sang for three quarters of an hour. Oh, they don't do things like you don't do it all Broadway. Oh, kiss me once, it kiss me twice, it kiss me once, they get. I was the man holding the recorder. Jack Madurian, a resident at the home, was the singer. Three nights earlier, I heard Jack sing an astounding stream of consciousness medley at a talent show held at a nearby church. I worked as the activities director at the nursing home, and when I returned to work on Monday morning, I came prepared to record Jack. He'd often boasted that he, quote, knew more songs than Sinatra. Oh, we're a gal. Let me see, wait a minute. Well, I don't care if it's a dog Armed with a 90-minute cassette, I challenged him to sing for 45 minutes straight. As the tape rolled along, it became Jack's and my private Olympic event. He wanted to make it the whole distance, and I was rooting and coaching him along. Every 10 minutes or so, the recorder's still on, he'd doubt whether he knew any more songs. I'd offer a few words of encouragement, and off he'd be going again. How, how long is that now, would you say? How far? Mm, ten minutes. Uh, ten minutes, huh? I don't know any more than that. Let me see. you got to do some more songs. Let me see. Great Frank Sinatra wrote at least 30 songs. Does he? 25, 30, 30, you know at least 30 songs. I hope. Maybe he knows 100. Maybe he knows 100 songs. I thought you knew a hundred. South of the border, down Mexico way. Well, that's where the stars are. In the couple years that I'd known Jack and the other residents at the home, I'd become fascinated with the way in which memories faded and reappeared. For the 40 or so men in this small facility, the days of their big adventures were over. Now old adventures were getting bigger as they were being retold, or they were simply being reinvented. paper moon sailing under a cardboard sky, but when they make believe of you, believe in me. For me, I found that the best way to get to know these people was to accept whatever they said as the truth, because in most cases, that is what it was for them. Accuracies and facts mattered little to me. I just wanted to find out more about who they were right then. The 45 minutes isn't up yet, huh? No. Well, does it make a buzzer when it's up, huh? Yeah, well, it'll just stop. It'll just stop. But you gotta get some more songs on here. Let me see. Well, it's all crazy. Songs about cars. What songs about cars? Get out and get under, get out and get under that old vying machine. Oh, the little out. I know about Jack Madurian in the way of absolute facts is that he was born May 23, 1929. He moved into the duplex nursing home in Boston in 1980. He had been institutionalized in one facility or another for a considerable portion of his life by the time I'd met him. He loved coffee and cigarettes. I have a picture of Jack with a large, empty Dunkin' Donuts coffee cup, which had been purchased for him by a friend. 
Jack wolfed it down in a gulp and said, you buy one good cup of coffee. These are some of the other things he said to me that I jotted down. I'm happy to see you, Dave. You're not big, but you're a little bigger than me. I get along with you, Dave. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. That cat just crossed the street because it's a nice day, and I hope it stays that way, Dave, from this day on. Oh, just sing it, oh, just sing it, oh, just sing it in the rain. If you fall on your bike early in the day, chances are you'll get a headache later in the day. Right time, cowboy, right time, cowboy. We'll talk about your right time, cowboy, Joe. I follow in Harry Houdini's footsteps. You know that, Dave? Harry Houdini is an escape artist. He's dead and buried now. He ain't living. And I'm following in his footsteps. California, here I come. See, look at that. Tape's almost filled. Oh, yeah. See that? You filled all that much tape. There's only that much left. Whoa. Hey, what's the bathroom? Twinkle, twinkle. When, when you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. But when you wish upon a star, your dreams may come true. <coughs> Rose Day. Rose Day, Rose Day, you're my big DJ that moves about all the dirty, bump dirty, bump dirty, bump dirty. Finally, the tape ended, and the record button popped back up, bringing the little battery operated machine to a halt. Jack made it through the 45 minutes. 129 songs filled up one side of the cassette. He wanted to hear a little bit in playback, but then decided he'd rather go get a cup of coffee. And he walked away singing. Not long after David Greenberger and Jack Madurian made that recording, the duplex nursing home closed suddenly in bankruptcy. Jack was transferred to another facility, then a home placement, then somewhere. David lost contact and has been unable to find him. The only concrete artifact of their relationship and of Jack's musical memory is the 45-minute cassette tape they made together 19 years ago. I'm Jay Allison, curator of The Quest for Sound.
on. It's Don from Red Color. Please give me a call at 647-5404. We still haven't received your payment. Thank you. Bye. 